Uh, in this short video I'm going to show you how to spur off uh, a socket from an existing circuit of sockets. Basically if you want to add another socket to your sockets in your house uh, I'll show you how to do that there. Now just for an example we would have existing sockets through your home and as you've seen in one of the previous videos they'll be wired in a ring circuit so they'll be going something like this here and on. Now another bedroom, study, whatever it would be you want to add another socket on. The easiest way to do that is take the cable from your new socket and take it straight to another socket and you'll end up with actually three cables at this socket and you'll connect them exactly the same way as you would connect the rest of the sockets, the browns together, the blues together, the earths together and this is what's called a spur. You can spur off. Another way you can do it if you had another socket there is you could come off the wiring with the junction box. If you can find the wiring between your sockets you could actually put a junction box on there and I'll show you how to do a junction box uh, in another short video. But that in essence is a spur from an existing uh, circuit of sockets. You can actually spur off another socket and that's the easiest way. You've no junction box or anything to do and the wires are easily accessible at the socket point. That is a spur and an extension socket.